These five Ambika memory cards of Kisan in 1956, and this one TB memory card of prison time, means from where has technology reached in the last 70 years? In the same way, we cannot even imagine where technology can reach in the coming 50 years. And if there are, then it is also possible that we can also achieve advanced technology like Type 1 civilization. Now let's know a little about this Type 1, sir. In 1964, Nikola, an astronomer from the Soviet Union, had given a method to know the technological advancement of a civilization, which we call the card chip scale. The more energy a civilization can control, the more advanced the card is considered to be on just the scale. According to this, a Type 1 civilization is the one which can use the energy of its entire planet and control it. A Type 2 civilization could control the entire Canary Galaxy. That is, we humans have to learn to use the entire energy present on the Earth to become a Type 1 civilization. As of now, the card can only be called a 0.75 civilization on the scale. You must be finding this number very close to Type 1 civilization. But in spite of being on the scale of 0.75, we are using only 0.2% energy in comparison to Type 1 civilization. Recently, California and the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency together have given an innovative solution to this problem, which is Project Kaisi Hopaya, Solar Power Satellite. In this, a huge hexagonal miller will be sent in the Earth's orbit which will reflect the sunlight and send it to some satellites from the solar panel. This satellite itself will send solar energy in the form of radio waves to the Earth, and here it will be converted into electricity with the help of rectified antenna. The Kaiser Hopiar project is just our imagination right now, but it has already started getting problems. A professor in the United Kingdom has estimated that the carbon footprint of the Earth will increase by 100 times from this project. In this, the environment of the Earth will change completely, and it will be impossible for humans to live on this planet. So will we always have to depend on natural resources for our energy needs? An institute in Slovenia has told that in the next 133 years, all the are about to end. On the other hand, oil and natural gas will end in the next 50 years only. In the coming years, not only will our natural resources run out, but due to this, all the ice of Antarctica is going to melt, due to which the level of the Earth's ocean will increase significantly. In this condition, waves of up to 60 meters will rise in the oceans, and many major coastal cities of the world will be submerged in water. Now, if we talk about nuclear energy, today only 15% of our energy needs are being met. But how dangerous are nuclear power plants? This is not hidden from anyone. And even if we generate nuclear energy at our full potential, we will still be able to reach at most 0.85 on card chip skill. But there is a method which can help us to produce more energy through nuclear fusion, and that is thermonuclear of hydrogen and helium. One such thermonuclear fusion plant can produce 138 mega electron volts of energy, while our existing nuclear plants produce a maximum of 7.6 mega electron volts of energy. But establishing a thermonuclear fusion plant is beyond the technological advance of US humans, because it cannot produce as much energy as it takes to make it. Today we humans are meeting our 11% energy through nets, hydro, wind, and solar energy. In this only the city of hydroelectric energy has 7%. Even if we increase it five times, still our progress on the card subscale will be negligible. Some scientists believe that we can also make energy from the gravity of the moon. The moon brings 12 to the Earth's oceans due to its gravity. If we create exotic situations on the seashore, in which underwater propellers are installed, it will rotate every time the waves come and go. One such exotic station can produce 300 MW of synergy, which will meet the electricity needs of more than two zero 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 homes. Not only silver, we can also use Earth's core NG. Earth's core is continuously releasing 4,040 hours of energy towards service. If we learn to store this energy by doing OP10, then we will move faster on the card scale. Sir American in 1973. Extending the idea of sugarcane Nikolai card chip, he said that a Type 1 civilization would be able to control all planetary disasters. Tsunamis, earthquakes, and tornadoes, which cause devastation to us today, would be the only source of x trainer G for Type 1 civilization, meaning we will be able to extract energy from that too. In the year 2010, a scientist named John Storrs All gave the idea of a weather machine. In this, small balls of diamond with a diameter of one millimeter to one centimeter will surround the entire planet. They're it will happen, and it will be at a height of 30 kilometers in the status quo of the Earth. There will be a membrane and a controlling device inside them, which will control their movement and spin. This diamond call will do some specific reflection of the sun's light on the Earth, with the help of which we will be able to make electricity. 
It is not the idea of weather machines that has divided the scientific community. Some scientists consider it impossible, while some are in favor of further research in this field. Let me tell you that by the year 2032, we are going to test this idea on a small scale. However, it can also have a negative impact on the Earth. Tampering with nature can cause rapid climate change and ice age can start on Earth. If we become a type one civilization in the same way, then it will be of no use, because our progress will stop there, and probably human civilization will also end. Sir, in 2019, some students of Philippines also gave the idea of making energy from sound. Mega cities like Mumbai and Delhi where there is a lot of noise, we can produce 1,500 MW Ranji from one such city. Not only sound, but we have to try to produce energy from this material as well. Every year we produce 10 million tons of plastic out of which only 10% is recycled and the rest is lying in nature's lap for millions of years to be decommissioned. Pyrolysis is such a technique by which we can make fuel from plastic this year. In this, plastic is burnt, which burns without smoke and the oil released from it can be used as fuel. If we convert all the plastics present in the Earth's oceans into 12 pylos through this, then we humans can reach very close to becoming a type on civilization. But there is one thing that allows us to create a type one simulation in a very short time. I'm talking about antimetal. It is just like a normal matter. Its properties are just opposite. When particles of matter and antimatter collide, it will release a large amount of energy. 52,300 megatons of synergy can be produced from just one antimeter which would be enough to provide electricity to four zero 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 homes. But the problem here is that no one on Earth is afraid of anti and tracking animator particles floating in space is as easy as finding a needle in an area of several kilometers. Recently, we have come to know that Earth's magnetic field attracts animator particles and we can find many animators around it. But if we do this, the Earth's magnetic field will end. And if this happens, the entire communication system of the Earth will be destroyed and our electronic devices will become victims of the sun's heartfulness. It can prove to be a great weapon for humans and is dreaming of becoming a type one simulation. We humans will go back to storage. Well, what do you think about it? Do tell us by commenting and if you like this video, then do not forget to like and share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, subscribe and turn on the notification because I keep bringing videos like this every week. So see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for...